Good afternoon. You're on the air. Uh, good afternoon. Let's go back to the city budget for a minute. Sure. We're in this we're in this situation because we've had certain individuals on council. As soon as you get a little money in the general fund, mm-hmm. they've got to they've got to spend it on things we don't need. Mm-hmm. They 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 come across as well. We've got the money. We want this. And we don't care what it costs. We're just going to buy it. Mm-hmm. If you're not making sound financial decisions for the taxpayers, then when we do have problems, we don't have any money. Then you always want to run back to the taxpayer. Well, they run you... for office. They run for office, Jeff. Mm-hmm. They said they're going to run on. They hate this word too. Fiscal responsibility. They hate that. Then when they come, and it's been going on for years, they don't have the appetite to cut jobs. Okay, if you want to squander money, knock off courses. They're supposedly turnkey. You want a pool on every corner of the street. We deserve it. Okay, you deserve it. Then mm-hmm. start cutting jobs when when things get tough. They don't have an appetite to cut jobs. You start from the top, very top, the biggest money makers in this city, and you work your way down. Don't run back to the taxpayers. I agree with the first caller. Mm. They just don't. They just don't understand. We're not going to play those games where you're going to say 20, 30 percent. Oh, we settled for nine. No, we're not playing those games either. You're not coming across as a hero at nine percent. All right. Okay. Well, is that what's going to happen? I mean, past is prologue, and that seems to be what they'll do. Is I'm not, I'm for saving money in the general fund for emergencies like uh, DPW equipment. Uh, Rusty water pipes you're seeing in at the park started out. Well, do you think they can keep, I mean, there's things you can do in a vehicle fleet. You can keep the vehicles longer, police cars, whatever, get more use out of them. You don't have, you don't have to have, you don't, Jeff, you don't have to, it's just like everybody, you know, all your listeners, you don't have to get new cars every year. You mm-hmm. got a small, if the city equipment's got a small rust spot on it, fix the rust spot, do maintenance on it. Sure. Keep it clean. It, it has to, you don't have to get a new vehicle every year. Well, I, I agree. I, I, I think an analysis of the vehicle fleet might reveal some interesting things, but, um, you know, I don't like situations where people get take home cars, for instance. No. At the end of the day, you get in your own vehicle. That, that stays right at work. Mm-hmm. No taking home. That's the police, the fire department, and you, and, and the DPW chiefs too. Those yeah. are city vehicles. They stay there. Because you got gas, shirts, and liability, of course. You'll leave them right there. That's not the perks of having a job, taking a vehicle home. Mm-hmm. No. You know, it's got it's got to end. And uh, for Dr. Kimball, he is, I'll go right out on the air and say it, he is a huge disappointment. He was supposed, he ran on being the adult in the room. I can make decisions. I'm retired. I can put in the time. And he sits up there. He just wants everybody to like him. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're all, we're all not retired doctors and lawyers right you got people that say well it's only a hundred seventy dollar increase on a hundred thousand dollar house well you tell that to a lot of people they're living paycheck to paycheck in this city okay right. might it might not be a lot of money for you you've got money mm-hmm. but it's a lot for you know for the average person in this in the city they've got other responsibilities well it is everything else is up too i mean you got to look at the whole world <laughs> well, I know it, but it, it all boils down to making sound, rational decisions with the general fund money. You can't do that. Well, what do you, what do you want to cut know. then? Tell me what you want to cut. Don't, you know, I mean, I, well, I, I assume you want to close a pool. Here's what you got to do. I'll tell you what, I'll make some cuts for you right now. Start at the library. The library should not be open seven days a week, okay? Everybody goes to the internet. Nothing wrong with the library. I'm not, I'm not speaking bad about the library, but. A lot of times, if you want quick information, you're going on the internet. Mm-hmm. And 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 the proof of this is you you do the so attendance. So you count. think we could get rid of the library? Well, no, and I'm saying get rid of some of the staff. You don't need the library open just seven days a week. Mm-hmm. So tell me how many people come in that library on a Saturday and Sunday? How many? Well, I don't know. Well, uh, I can tell you there are probably less than ten. Really? If the, if that if, if that. Yeah. I don't know. I always thought library. I think libraries are important. Libraries are important. Monday, Monday, you can have them open Monday through Friday if you want to go there. Till, right. what, are, what are they open? Till six o'clock, seven o'clock? I don't know. 
but those those are small cuts but the but you have to have the appetite to but make if you if you're going to make if cuts to the level that you know equal all this out you'd have to cut among the biggest pots of money which is uh well, public well, safety well, well you well, you cut you leave no stone unturned let's go let's go that route all right okay so you start i would start at the very top the, the wage earners so you start i, I know I, just, I know it's going to be you're going to have people screaming say oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. Start at the fire department get rid of a couple police officers then jump to the school resource officers you got to know if you still got a policeman patrol in the halls in school. Mm-hmm. I even cut some of those positions. Let let some of the get let some of the hall monitors take over. Yeah. Well, what and do I, you think I, about? I mean, recreation. What what should be cut there? I, I don't. As far as recreation in town, I know. What do we got going on in recreation in town? You mean departments? No. Yeah. The, you're talking about cutting things. Well, I, I'm against cutting any positions in DPW because. Uh, right. First, and, first and foremost, the city streets. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I, I, I can agree with it. Maybe, but it is possible that we have the government we want, and we're just going to pay extra this year, just like your favorite food or anything else. Well, I know. Well, okay, but you, you have, to, you have. To, there's always going to be tax increases. I'm not saying no taxes, but there has to be tax increases within reason. That's mm-hmm. why the state. Put in guidelines. Mm-hmm. I know you don't like to hear this. Mm-hmm. Put in guidelines. Be fiscally responsible and stay within the two percent. You can you can have two percent increases every year, every year, every year, but you can't go crazy and buy things we do not need. Okay, well, I, I know we don't want to keep thrashing, uh, going over the past over and over again. But, but the, 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 when you make crazy decisions in the past that affect that affects us down the road and then here we are those decisions are putting in pools golf courses are supposedly turnkey there's, there's nothing but an endless money pit and that's going to go on forever lawnmowers electrical what else sure they're doing they're doing business but it's never going to be a profitable business and that wasn't put in there for a profitable business okay but it's at least should pay the bills okay we're not saying that, uh, we're not asking the taxpayers not asking for it to generate a huge right but, but, but God if you're going to open up a business like yourself if you're going to open up a bar at least at least pay the bills if, if you're, in, you're losing money every year you don't you don't run a bar or any or a store no then it becomes a vanity business yeah it's you know just That's a hobby right. come on 